So we've got a cracking video for you today, a brilliant video, and it's about this little bad boy. Now this little bad boy is a Bosch capacity tester, and it tests the capacity of e-bike batteries. Uh, it's only specific to Bosch batteries, and it's used for um, if, you, if you feel that your battery is underperforming or it's not holding the charge like it used to do um, and the capacity is dropping, then this is the tool that we need to be able to find that out. And we need to be able to find out how much capacity your battery is able to hold. So as time goes on, you charge your battery uh, according to the amount of riding that you want to do. Now, the reason why batteries start to deplete is, first of all, age. Uh, as time goes on, the, the, the cells in them start to deplete. It could be that they're stored in, uh, in a, a really, really cold condition. That's not particularly ideal for batteries. There's loads of different reasons why batteries start to deplete. So, in the back, we've got a fairly new e-bike battery from a, a Trek rail. It's about six months old. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hook this up to the computer, we're going to plug the battery into it and we're going to see how much capacity is in that particular battery after six months old. So let's crack on. We're all plugged in now. Uh, the capacity test is just updating uh, its firmware uh, and we'll just wait for that to finish and then we'll click on diagnosis and we'll see what we've got. So that's all done now. Uh, click on diagnosis, see if there's any error messages there. There's none there at all. And we'll click on the power pack tab at the top left. It's asking us to choose which battery we're trying to test. So we'll click on the right hand one because that's the one we're looking at. And then what it'll do basically, it'll show us uh, all the particular details for that battery. It's just updating now and reading that info. So we can see uh, from the, uh, the lines down at the bottom, the date of the manufacture, uh, the current voltage, uh, the charge level, the amount of full cycles it's had, which is 15.1. Also, what's interesting is the temperature, which is important, and the maximum temperature, which is 33, which is obviously quite a difference there. So we want to click on the capacity test, but it will not let us do that until the battery is fully charged. So we've charged the battery up and uh, we're now on the uh, running the test. Now, as you can see from the time, it's quite a long test, three hours, 19 minutes. So we'll let that run and then we'll come back and we'll see what we've got. So three and odd hours later, we've now come to the end of the test and we've just write in the report for the system. Uh, and it's currently telling us here the values. So the total value of the battery when it were new is 625, which is the, the normal uh, size. And then we've got uh, 591, uh, which is 94% of the full hours. Uh, so I think with six months old, I don't think that's bad. And it's actually telling us that that is within the expected range. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll save the report as a PDF file for the customer. And then we'll just open that report and we'll have a quick look and we'll just see what the customer's actually going to get. So we'll close the application down, look at the report, and here it is, as you can see on screen. It's basically duplicating what we've already looked at, but this is obviously the customer's copy. Again, 625 uh, on the full battery when it were new, uh, and it's currently showing the capacity at the moment is 591. Again, that's within expected readings. Gives us the information of the power tube and the software version that it's currently running. So that's what we what we get. Um, it's a brilliant tool, really, uh, for diagnosing problems that you're having with your battery. Again, if, uh, if you're struggling with performance, then this is what we need to be testing. So let's get back to good old me. So I hope you found that useful, uh, enjoyable. It just gives you an idea uh, of what's involved with finding out the capacity of your battery and what condition it's in. It is quite a lengthy process. This took uh, just over three hours to do, but it actually gave us a full report on what condition and how much battery uh, capacity there is in there left. So again, I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. 
Thanks for subscribing. Please subscribe if you've not subscribed already. It does help us. And I'll catch you later. Total pip.